energy depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me hi everybody welcome back so i'm super excited because today we are going to be doing my september favorites and i do have quite a bit of stuff that i want to talk about that i've been loving this month um and it's a mix between like body care skin care crystals i mean like just makeup a bunch of different stuff that's been in my life because recently i have been really struggling a lot with my health um i've been diagnosed with two different autoimmune diseases um along with a, a lot of stuff's going on um and then I'm trying to deal with my anxiety and I'm trying to deal and help with my husband because he has a lot of his own stuff going on too health wise. And then with the kids going back to school, it's just a lot. It's a lot. So I haven't been on top of my makeup game, maybe like a hundred percent. And that's maybe why you guys haven't seen too much of me on my socials or even here um, as of late because I'm I'm struggling a little bit. Things will start to slow down, I'm sure, maybe around January. So, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. February? Maybe February. So fun to be a parent. So fun. Go ahead. Just make those gremlins. So fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this because... I could just sit here and go on and on and on about things that I don't need to be in that headspace. So I want to go and talk about things that I've been loving and put myself in a better headspace. So I'm going to start kind of with the body care, skin care type of stuff and move our way up as we usually do. So if you guys are interested in seeing this, seeing what I've been loving, because there are a lot of new things in here that I can't wait to share with you guys. And of course, I as well have some questions for you guys along the way so yeah if you know the answer please leave it in the comments because uh, mama needs help <laughs> all right so first off I've talked to you guys about this before this is from Ole Hendrickson they sent this out to me along with their body moisturizer I don't like the body moisturizer as much as I like this body oil now I told you guys before because I think this was in last month's favorites this is our Firmly Yours Toning Dry Body Oil. This is almost gone. I don't know if you can tell. It's like right there. I've been using what they're calling the Kardashian Shower Method. I've told you guys about this before. Where you shower and then before you towel dry off, you put an oil all over your body. And any kind of oil that you want to. While you're wet because that's what they do and then you let yourself air dry and I have been doing that with this <sighs> if you have find a hard it to be hard to keep up with moisturization of your body like putting lotion all over your body you're just not like into it and you have dry patches maybe you have psoriasis like me that you're trying to like get cleared up you know maybe you're just dry that's me um I highly recommend this. It doesn't have to be with the Ole Hendrickson. I do think that this is one of the best that I've tried personally. Um, but with any oil that you have on hand that you can use on your body, it is such a good method. Alright, so the Kardashians at least have that. And looks. And butts. And boobs. Oh god, and money. Oh, oh let's move on. All right, like, so let's say on Ole Hendrickson, because I have another product here. They sent this out to me earlier in the month, and I was so excited about this, because companies like Ole Hendrickson and things like that, they don't usually eye a channel like me. So I was really excited about trying their products, because I myself, I love the affordable products, but sometimes I see everybody in the community using these luxurious products, or these products that I just can't afford, that maybe everybody's day-to-day -day buys. And I'm a little envious. So I saw this and I was so excited about it. This is um, their Strength. Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I use this at nighttime. What I like about it is that it's a gel. It's like, it looks like a cream, but it's more like a gel. And that's great for somebody like me who has combo skin. So it's, it's still very deeply moisturizing to the point where I can only use it at nighttime. But it's like the perfect oily combination skin nighttime moisturizer and I've been loving this so much so I wanted to talk to you guys about it um it just says that it's a hydrator a strength and hydrator vegan peptides ceramides and collagen and that's basically all it says it's not 
trying to claim that it's going to hoodoo voodoo your face like every other thing it just says what it is and what it does and it works amazingly it lets the product speak for itself and that's something that I like about Ole Hendrickson so that's another option for them if you guys can afford them I personally can't but I get it sent out to me every now and then and it's like a treat for me it's like a treat for my face and body <laughs> All right, some skincare here. Now, I told you guys about um, Enoskin, and they were, I worked with Vi Beauty, and then they sent me out this from Enoskin, and obviously I've been loving it. I'm halfway done with this. This is their Vitamin C Serum for Dark Spots. I use this particularly at nighttime because it's an oil, so I like to use oils at night because combo oily skin, you know? So you got to be careful with oils. Use them very sparingly, but you still need them. And that does control excess oils from coming out through your face. Um, that's something I learned from being a beauty blogger along the way was that I still need oils even if I'm oily. It's really a weird concept, but it's so true. So I've been loving this, of course, but I've already talked to you guys about this. But they also sent me out something else. And this I replaced for the day. And this is their dark spot corrector. So they have like an oil and then they just have, this is like a serum, a clear serum that is, it doesn't feel like it does anything to make you oily. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't break up your makeup, nothing. I love this so much and I use this during the day and then I use this one at nighttime. So Ina Skin, it's very affordable um, and it works. So they've been kind of on my mind the last few months, to be honest, and I've been looking into their other products beyond Dark Spot Control because of the fact that I like them so much. So I had to tell you guys about them. Highly recommend. When you find a skincare brand that is affordable along with seeing results, that is like a unicorn in the woods. <laughs> Next, as always, talking about oils, Pacifica Glow Baby Serum. This is their, um, that's the wrong side. That is in a language I don't know. This is their Glow Baby Boost Serum Glycolic Acid and Vitamin C. I was using this at night, um, and then I turned to use it alongside these other ones. Day and night. That's how much I like this. It makes your face so glowy, like a natural glow, that it doesn't matter if you have breakouts or anything. It makes your skin look damn good. <laughs> really does. I love Pacifica so, so much, but they're a drugstore brand that is extremely high-end for drugstore. You know what I mean? Like, if you go to the drugstore, they're, they're right up there with Neutrogena and stuff with being pretty expensive. Pacifica formula, you know, like, you're like, why is this this expensive? But they are, and they show good results. So I highly recommend them. I think I've had, like, three or four of the Pacifica face oils or serums and I don't think this, this is an oil so you'll have to excuse me it's just a serum a clear kind of serum but I've gone through so many of them because I love them so much but they are really expensive like I at this moment would not have the money to repurchase that right now so that's something to think about too all right next here I want to talk about a company called Kaja if I'm saying that correctly because that's actually a word I believe is Korean for let's go um, and that's what Kaja actually means is let's go I believe nobody quote me because man I hate being quoted because I'm usually wrong but they have also been sending me out some things here and there and I get super excited about it and of course I put some of these in a secret little giveaway that I have shipped off to someone because um, I like to put extra like surprise goodies and my giveaways for people. I don't know why. I'm just like that. Um, but they sent me out some things a few months ago and then just recently this month that I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so the first thing here is this, which this looks so weird, but I, at first when I took it out of the package, I really had to like give this a good, like, what are you and why are you moving like this? These are three products in one. They're magnetic. Now, oh, there we go. This is so, so cool. It comes with, weirdly, it comes together with a lot of stuff that you actually need. So, I don't know if it has an actual name. You'll find that in the description box. But it comes with a clear eyebrow eyelash gel, which I use for my eyebrows constantly and love. Hang on that. And then it comes with a 
lengthening mascara and a volumizing mascara. They're not the lengthening one, in which I don't know why, but I just seem to like gravitate towards lengthening mascaras um, more than, sorry, I'm trying to show you the the wand there yeah it's like small thin and spiky like most lengthening mascaras because I have small eyes lengthening mascaras usually work better for me but then it comes also with the volumizing one which comes with the hourglass oh, I'm so bad at this comes with the hourglass head that I really like too so I have been loving this so much that I've been keeping it together at first I separated them and now I just keep them together because I'm like okay where's my other one where's my other one and I'm like you know what now I know why they magnetized it together this is such a cool and needed product that every single one in it works so well that I would say it's completely worth buying and then they sent me out a ton and this isn't even all of them I put more in for an upcoming giveaway these are their little bento beauty bentos um I shadows there we go and these are just the five that I kept for myself that I could not stop myself from. I mean, this toasted caramel is my favorite. And that's what I really want to talk about. You need to find um, one that is going to be something that you're going to use all three of. Or one that has one in it that is so draws you so bad that you have to have it. Because I think these are about $30 a piece for three eyeshadows in this little thing. Their eyeshadows are such good quality though that the price tag kind of makes sense, but it's still kind of out of my budget. But this toasted caramel, it looks so just like, oh, okay, Nikki, you know, like a normal everyday thing. But you open this up and look at this first one. It is so, be oh, you barely have to touch it. It's insane. It's insane. It's insanity. And then you go to the next one. Look at this. I can't. I can't. Oh, and they're so like, they're like velvet, wet, and they have this sheen to them. Oh my goodness. And then the last one here. And now these are all shimmers. So I can use every single one of these and will at some point use every single one of these on my eyes because I use shimmers when I do my cut creases. So this is just incredible to me. And those were not even like going around in them. It's I press on them because they are that good. That good of quality. Highly recommend you guys. Don't overlook Kaja. Don't. Now I do have some things from She Glam that I've been loving. The first thing here is their She Glam Full Coverage Foundation Balm. This is probably the best foundation I have found recently beyond one other. I just took my beauty blender and boop, 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 boop in there and just go around. And I don't need barely any of this for a full coverage look that is not cakey. I don't know what it is about this with it being a foundation balm. And I don't know what they did to it <laughs> to make it like that and to call it that. But every company needs to do it because this is so spreadable makes your skin look so healthy and it doesn't even look like you have foundation on but it perfects everything and it's full coverage it's definitely full coverage it gets rid of my freckles and all of my imperfections so this is something on sheen that i i'm gonna have to repurchase so i have a backup and then their she glam insta ready face and under eye setting power i use it today i use it almost every day you open it up and you have a mirror i haven't taken the film off but you have your under eye setting powder which is a very very like hard pressed setting powder finely finely milled in there you know and then on the bottom you just untwist it and you have your powder which is so and obviously it doesn't have like a flashback or anything now the this is like everything you need and one um if you love the laura mercier, mercier under eye setting powder along with the face powder this is a great dupe with both of them in one compact and i think it's like six bucks or something i don't even know but it's like she glam is not that um expensive they are very affordable for me and i've oh i've had stuff from natasha denona you know, to Gucci, to Dior, to all of that. I've tried all of that kind of stuff when I tried to keep up in the beauty community at first throughout the years. Um, 
and I had a, a wonderful friend who actually would purchase this stuff for me and send it to me. A few of you did that for me and I can't thank you enough but it was a huge eye opener especially when I found She Glam because She Glam performs better than most of those luxury brands that I tried and do not have in my collection today for a reason. So that's just just saying. Another thing I have been back in love with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I cannot get over this setting spray. I've always had this in my collection. It's usually a travel size because that's all I can afford and I don't care. But they sent this out to me or no they didn't. I did an Urban Decay something kind of review um, for them on Influencer and I did the bonus thing and they sent this out to me as a thank you. And I was like, oh, my friend's back. And this will take forever to go through. So I'm so excited about it because I haven't had it in my collection in forever. So I've been using the crap out of it. If you're going to get something from Urban Decay, the two things that I recommend are the 24-7 um, eyeliners, pencil eyeliners, which are extremely expensive but so worth it and come in any color you could think of and more, and that setting spray. Those are the like iconic two things that are just so amazing from Urban Decay. Also, Influencer sent me out these two Revlon products. You can probably tell I'm halfway through with this already. I love these. Okay, the Revlon Color Stay, which we all know about, but they like re- formulated this is combination oily this is so good so good it was so good before it's even better now I love this so I got the shade let me see if I can find it buff 150 buff and it works really really good for me and then the color this is new I believe because I never saw that they had a concealer with it this is the color stay skin awakening caffeine and vitamin C 24 hours five in one concealer and I have mine in 002 <laughs> it's it works really really good it is one of those puff thingies but it works good and it's small so I love it I love both of them I gave it a raving review because I loved it so much and now I'm gonna have to keep those in my collection too <laughs> another um foundation that it has been out for a long long time but I'm telling you if you don't have it get it um, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I had it not in my shade, so I never used it. And then I got sick of it being there, so I passed it on. And then just forgot about it and never actually got my shade to try out. So I got it again recently in the perfect shade for me. I'm wearing this today. And I really like it. I like it so much. I have my nude ivory right now. It is so good. It is so it covered the coverage on it let me tell you you take it out and it's on a spatula it's kind of weird but the amount of product that you see that's on it is more than what you need for the coverage that I have and I have a lot of breakouts right now because I dumbly dermaplane because I couldn't handle the peach fuzz anymore and when I dermaplane I break out anywhere that I've dermaplaned so um no matter what I do and I get hidden acne and it's really really bad for a while so I'm trying to fight that and if you saw how bad my face was without makeup right now you would be like I'm going to run for that that foundation <laughs> it's just so good and so affordable that you have to have it in your collection there's no reason not to oh and then this well, maybe I should keep on makeup. I still have a couple of things here. I'm getting ahead of myself. The first thing, or I should say the millionth thing here, I found from On Shop Missé. I never talked about. I should probably put it in a Best of Shop Missé. But this is from Salave or Salavi. I say, say Lavi. Maybe that's what they're called. Say Lavi. That seems like C Lavi. Maybe. Yeah, right? Anyway, it's uh, mysaylevy.com. They're made in China, but they're on Shop Masse. This is their nude eyeliner. I use this all the time. It's so creamy. I don't even know if you can see it, but I put it in my waterline, and it opens my eyes because I have such small eyes. So I've been using the crap out of this, and I want to get more colors. It's just one of those things where a lot, even LA Color sucks when it comes to their eye, like the wooden pencil liners on Shop Masse. C'est la vie. That's what I'm going to call them from now. C'est la vie. Get those ones. They are really, really good. 
And then, another thing from Shop Missy I've been loving because I've been using that Girl Gorgeous. So I have so much baby hair that is just growing that if my hair is clean and then dried, it's like an, a little tiny afro of peach fuzz. Like, like little hairs like this. Like I just had a baby growing back. So I use things that can tame that. So I've been using the AOA Hair Tamer. Really, really good. Um, it's not as like as I wish it would be so if I do any kind of cleaning or working out or anything like that your hair will be like pointed poking out everywhere and it looks ridiculous and if you use too much of it it makes your hair look really greasy and gross so you have to be careful with it but if you're going for a sleek style where you need like every hair to be perfectly where it is get these they work so good and they all come in different scents let me tell you you don't smell it or anything at all so it doesn't even matter what scent you get it in and all right and lastly for makeup the eyelashes i'm wearing today i have been kind of infatuated with they are more natural lash and i get them i think from shop Masse. they are alexis don't mind the one lash i tried one day to put makeup on my allergies weren't having it so one lash got thrown away because i was mad um <laughs> or two <laughs> I don't even know um but I need to repurchase these they are so good you know they give you a I'm wearing lashes or I have beautiful lash look but it doesn't look like you're wearing bat wings so I love those so much and it has a beautiful style for people who want that wispy look so I really like those I've been wearing them a lot lately when my allergies allow all right, for nails, with my nails, with this red, oh, almost every color I've been using lately is from a new gel line that I'm trying. I got off Amazon. This is Mepha or Mepha. I don't know. Gel polishes come in, like, kits most of the time, and they come really small when they do. I love these. They come with so many shades that you don't normally see in the kits for gels um a lot of sparkle colors that you don't see a lot of just bright bold colors and this red is the closest red i have found to the opi thrill of brazil which is not a gel polish i can't i could never find the dupe for it um and i've been trying in a gel and i think i might have found it i think i might have found it from that company and they are not like horribly expensive so i will leave them linked down below but now let's get on the things that are more crystally and you know things that i've been doing a lot lately here so if you're interested in crystals and stuff like that then stay tuned if you're not i'll see you guys in the next one all right so i wanted to share my favorite crystals with you guys um for the month just for the people that care because there are a few that really like that First of all, um, I wanted to talk about the Miss A No-Show Body and Clothing Adhesive Strips. They come with 12 strips um, for $1. Now, I did not use these for my body. I used them for my little thing I got off of Amazon, which is a handmade leather kind of journal-ish type thing here, which I, I'm getting into a lot of herbology and things like that with crystals and herbs and things so everything that i learn and do uh, is in this book and it's like completely full but you'll see that there's stickers but there's rose leaves i have um flowers i've dried out of my garden in here i even have um gems and stones that are placed in here crystals that are placed in here and just stuck when I'm talking about something and that is because all of these are stuck by the this adhesive it goes completely clear when you put it on but it's double-sided and very sticky like super glue so if you do journaling maybe scrapbooking or you have one of these as well I would highly recommend grabbing a ton of these from Shop Miss A um, and using those because it, it's cheaper you go to a craft store to get double-sided tape for scrapbooking you're gonna pay way more than a dollar a dollar yeah you're you're gonna pay way more <laughs> all right now crystals crystals i've been loving okay now what i did i've been waiting a long time and saving money because i saw on tiktok that they have the lucky scoop crystal things and you get to watch the live shows where over in um, Korea and places like that, 
Asian places, I don't know, you know, over there where they're awake when we're asleep. <laughs> Beijing, Tokyo, I'm not sure. Um, they have where they have the zzz, little thing in front of them that mixes it and they scoop it out without looking and you know you buy a scoop and you get a scoop for free was going on and I wanted it so bad so I did that and I actually got a lot of things that I've been loving and wanted to share with you guys I highly recommend those by the way they are so fun but they can be pricey so you have to have the money for it but it's where I found some of my most unique crystals that I've been like dying but I don't know what one of them is. And I would really like your guys' help with that. This pumpkin I got in there. It's a pumpkin crystal. I want to say it's a gate. But I don't know what this crystal is. And I would really like it if you guys know what this is to let me know. Because I cannot find anything online to identify this. And the thing that stinks when you get crystals from places. Um from places like that like lucky scoops or things like that they don't tell you what you got they don't give you a piece of paper that says pumpkin this crystal what it's good for what people use it for they don't give you that they just give you a bubble wrapped whole huge thing of crystals so I would really love to know what this is it's so beautiful pumpkin great for the season I've had it on my little area that I have for my crystals and I love it so I got that and these I have way more that I got out of that lucky scoop but I didn't want to like bog down this video but these are two of my biggest towers and I love them this is actually I believe zebra jasper I've done a lot of research on these let me know if you don't think so but I believe that these are zebra jasper which is something I, I love. And the black and white like marbleish look is just my aesthetic. And I love it so much. So I have been, uh, I adore these. They sit on either side or together on one side of my computer. I think that they are amazing. So I'll try to see if I can link some of the TikTok places for these Lucky Scoops. If you guys have not seen them. But they are freaking amazing for crystals. For finding unique crystals or carved crystals. Because I also got an adventuring cat that I wanted to show you guys, but my son took off with it. So sorry. <laughs> now, everybody says that you'll have a crystal that you will gravitate towards. I have two. One, my birthstone crystal or burst crystal, horoscope crystal. I don't know what you want to call it, but that is this crystal right here and this citrine. And I love this necklace for that. I can't remember exactly where I got this, though. I'll have to think about it. And if I can remember, I will link it. Um, but the crystal that I have always resonated with the most, that I'm like, oh, so far in my life, is Labradite, if I'm saying that correctly. Labradite. Um, it's a beautiful crystal. So on Amazon, I believe it might be Etsy. I might have gotten this off of Etsy. But this is a natural Labradite sterling silver bracelet cuff. I love this so much. I don't have Labradite except for in a necklace pendul like pendulum or pendant. And so I wanted to get some more Labradite. And I wanted to make sure it was real. And your best bet to make sure that the crystals you're getting are real, get them on Etsy. But on Amazon, I got the Palm Stone. The palm stone is huge, and look at that flash. That's how you know that that is real. That is a real gemstone, and this is a big chunk, and this was not that expensive on Amazon. I really, and look up what Labradite does for you, Labradite, I don't know, it's, it, I'll have all that information down below, but you'll understand why I resonate so much with it, and it's just a beautiful crystal in general to look at in the sun. I mean, it, it different lights change that crystal into different things so it's kind of mesmerizing and I think that's why I like it so much so that who who my battery is about to die I'm about to die we are done okay I will leave everything I talked about listed in links down below you guys um I actually gotta go and help my husband clean out my baby's room because whew, that kid has way too much stuff we can barely get in there um, so I will leave everything, if I can find it all, linked down below for you, along with my details of everything that I'm wearing and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching this little long, long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that, you know, it was helpful. If you know what this pumpkin is, let me know. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.